God, so many things have changed here. It's kind of hard to believe that this is still the room, even if it is just a mirrored copy of it. I think everything's working now. I'm just going to have to hope that this is where I need to make my stance. The proper place where I can actually reach the audience. That person who reached out to me. Who even suggested doing this in the first place. I hope I get to see that person again soon. They're a lifesaver for leading me here. But anyway. I understand that right now I'm talking to the Joseph Knight Flyer audience brace. Sorry, my pronunciation must be a bit weird there. I don't know why. But anyway, anyway, that's that's nothing of concern, alright? I'm Papa Pyrocynical, just in case you forgot my name. It's very weird, I won't lie. Before I start even talking to us, there are these words that were playing to me in my head. They just echoed. It sounded like an alternative universe. A universe where I die. Apparently, I sacrificed myself to let Joseph Knight Flyer fly back into the spotlight, no pun intended. And then the night flyer disappeared. It was really weird, because for a moment I felt like I was actually going through that myself. But then, soon after, I came to my senses and I realised that they were still just echoes. They, they're not this reality and all that sort of mumbo-jumbo, you know. I <clears throat> Sorry. Let me compose myself a bit better. I'm here because I was asked to. I looked at a video that was left on the screen as well by, well, the person who was in the previous episode. I think I kind of get what he's coming at. Or there. I shouldn't presume. Who knows at this point. After all, when I look around me, the walls move and... Well, I can't just assume they're steady walls now, can I? But anyway, I am keep getting sidetracked. I'm sorry. Okay. This person or entity or whatever it is seems to be a good force anyway. It kind of reminds me of the crazy talk Joseph Nightflyer had back then with what he used to call the contract who was actually just... Well, the Night Flyer. But this time it seems like I can trust this one. But how do I know if I'm not being led into a false sense of security? What if this is all a ruse or a setup? After all, this person in particular wants to gather us all up. All the characters that have been created from the very beginning of the Joseph Night Flyer channel all the way till now. What is the purpose of that? I understand maybe taking on the Night Flyer head on with numbers would work, but let's be fair. He has at least over a hundred subscribers. And us characters are useless without that kind of power. The only other person with that power is Joe Night Flyer himself, but even the Night Flyers taking the numbers from his channel is slowly draining the power away from it. He's also created another channel called The Flyers Clips, and that one has a good 20 subscribers by itself. I don't know, honestly, about all this, and if this is really a good idea or not, but I have to try and trust anyway that this will lead to a better future than we're in now. 
after all, none of us are allowed back into reality after everything that's happened recently. I say recently, but I don't even know if recently is the same time as now. Who knows, man. It's probably 2025 by now. We've all probably been discarded and forgotten in the grand scheme of it all. It's really weird, you know. Like when it comes to when you look at the metadata for videos, or that video in particular that was left on the screen. It's just said unknown. So I assume that this realm can't actually record time for whatever weird reason. Yeah, it's it's a very strange place, I'm not going to lie. Everything just feels like it keeps getting stranger, weirdly enough, though. Even just walking amongst these halls. They just... I know I've already said that I'm hearing echoes whilst being in this temporary room, but... Even when you walk the hallways, you might hear the faint noises of the past try to creep up on the present. Uh, to be less philosophical, basically I'm talking about myself being the present. And various other forgotten characters of the past speaking to me, trying to take me and use me as their vessel, so to speak. But I'm Papa Pyrocynical. I would never let myself be that influenced so easily. Even though I did mention how the echoes in this room made me think I was actually dying, but it must be stronger here since, well, this room does represent where the Night Flyer stays all the time in reality. Maybe I should just put more trust. More trust into this unknown figure. Since, after all... Every time I close my eyes, well, ever since I started thinking about this topic, I just see it. The light green text on black background with green eyes. If I'm not mistaken, that colour usually represents Joseph Knight Flyer. That limey, bright green. Just like the hero he used to write about. So, obviously, if he's in cahoots, obviously, with Joseph Nightflyer himself, then maybe I should give him more fate, but I haven't seen Joseph Nightflyer himself for a very long time. It's weird as well that I feel like I need to be doing something right now. Like that, um... Video or visions of whatever, you know, the echoey voices. It feels like during that moment I did something really important, and I obviously did. Which is what led to my demise, but... I'm trying to remember exactly what I did. Obviously it was something that led to the Night Flyer actually taking me out himself. So if I can figure out what that is... Then maybe... There's a chance that we can all come back. We can all live again in peace. But for now, anyway, he's too powerful to face head on. I think I should probably leave soon myself, just in case. Yeah, yeah, you know. I'm starting to get some voices right now, and I don't want to go through that again, so. I'm gonna take my leave. But remember, everyone. Keep this on the down low. Uh, don't actually tell the Night Flyer or anyone else just in case about this little series. After all, is it really a podcast if it doesn't go on for at least half an hour, right? Think about it. Compare it to the Night Flyer podcast. Remember how that went? I was on that once and it was actually really good. But anyway, sorry, sorry, I gotta leave. Um... Please stay tuned. Just don't forget about us for now. We'll be coming back eventually. I hope. 
if, well, everyone hasn't forgotten us by now. Thank you. I hear water. Wait, I know. Hold on. It might be tricky going out here, but... I hear something. 